Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my Floss Tube channel, Animal Instinct. It's Saturday the 3rd of July 2021 and I'm here for a mid-year whip parade. So I've got all my whips. Um, some of them I have touched this year, others I haven't. So we're just going to go through them all in chronological order, roughly. And I have this empty basket here. Uh, there was a cat sitting in it a second ago. Um, and what I'd like to do is pick some pieces as we go that maybe I can spend a bit more time on this year and maybe work towards some finishes because I have enjoyed finishing things recently. I think what I'll do is um, when I'm editing, I'll put numbers in. So if you're interested in, in finding out a bit more information, just check the description box below and it should all the details should be there. Uh, I've also got some planned starts. I thought, why not? So I'll throw them in at the end as long as we're not, you know, <laughs> too far, too long. Um, so let's get started. So my oldest whip is... Pansies by uh, Thea Governor. I, I believe I purchased this in about 2012. It's a hand um, drawn chart which I've coloured in with coloured pencil. I never made a working copy and I have a feeling I might have made a mistake somewhere. Um, but anyway, it's on 28 count antique white linen so it came as a kit that is where i'm at it's one over two um so one strand of floss for the for the x's but it's over two on 28 count so it's the equivalent of 14 count but using one strand so it's very light coverage um i don't really have any desire to work on it you know heaps at the moment but I'm not going to get rid of it it will stay there until I'd like to touch it again just gonna to have to get into a rhythm here <laughs> uh, next up is Coastal by Roseanne Bell it's chartered by Gecko Rouge and I started this one in 2017, my first foray back to stitching after a bit of a long break. I have worked on this one day this year, but I won't put a photo in because um, it was like one evening stitching. But that is where we're at. And I think I was working, I was working in here when I did the few stitches that I have this year. Next one is a gift. You can see these older ones are just in plastic bags. <laughs> um, we'll progress to project bags soon. This one's a gift from my mum. She bought it in, um, I think she bought it in England. It's a Welsh kit. Uh, where's, the, where's the picture? Sorry. <laughs> there we go. It's Memories of Wales. Bow, Bow Murray Castle. Oh, yes. I've got a new stitching setup, so I mean filming setup, so hopefully we can finally get the focusing sorted. It's on, so it was a kit, I think it's 16 count Ada. And that is how much I have done. Um, right. nothing for the basket yet. <laughs> this one's a bit sad. This is Brooks Books Wonderland. So I have 12 of the um, charts. So these are all Alice in Wonderland. So that's the first one. Okay. And you can see some of the other ones underneath. And I want to stitch them, the 12 of them, on one piece of fabric. This, um, it's 
28 count Lugana. It's called Silver Springs by Colour Cascade Fabrics and it's opalescent. Uh, and I'm just working on Alice. I've made a very meager start. So that's where I'm at with Alice. Haven't done anything this year. Uh, but I'm going to pop keep this one out. I'd like to finish the Alice block this year. That was my that was a goal I set at the start of the year. So and I haven't touched it. Yet. So they can go in. Yeah. Sorry about all the noise. <laughs> and Reggie's munching on Vicky's too. Okay, next up, almost a project bag. <laughs> Pilgrim by Long Dog Samplers. I can't tell if it's focusing, so we'll just, it'll be a trial and error today. This one's on 36 count platinum linen. I'm stitching at one strand of floss over two using silks for you. Um, and the bulk of the colour is PR011. And Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. That is how much I have done. And I have worked on this this year. And let's see, I've just given it a little pop of colour um, for the text. And I am going to keep this one out to do a bit more on this year. It's my oldest long dog sampler, needs some love. Okay, this is one of the first project bags I made and I, I didn't really mm, understand inches and it, inches are much larger than centimeters. <laughs> anyway, it's good, it holds everything. Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carrie Chow Samplings. It's on 32 count Jobelin. It's called Angel of the Morning by Colour Cascade Fabrics. And I haven't done anything this year, I don't think. I've almost finished the first block, moving on to the second. I probably will pull that out in October, but I won't pop it in my basket today. Ah, oh, the next one. I'm not sure if I've shown this one before. Um, this is actually hiding in a pile of things that I haven't started, but I have actually started this one. This is called Tempest by Leilani Joy. It's a gecko rouge kit. And I just think she's beautiful. The colors are stunning. So these are the, the colors of the threads. I've had this one for ages. I think I started it, I worked out in 2018, but I've, you know, I've barely started it. It's on 25 count uh, Magic Guide Lugana, I guess, and uh, one over one full crosses and I've just started in the top left corner. But that's such a beautiful colour. So she's beautiful but um, I have other full coverage pieces I'd like to um, I guess get done <laughs> before I jump back to her. is speaking of full coverage I only showed this one last video so this is Firefly uh, by Jenny Parks Oops, a gecko rouge kit 
very out of practice here. Um, I will put a photo in of where I was at the start of the year. And I just put this, <laughs> I took this off the Q-snap for last video. It's just gone back on and now I need to just pull it off again. <laughs> And that is where he is now. And he's definitely staying out because I'm actively working on him at the moment. Next is Plague Doctor. Another one. I had a finish of Plague Doctor last week. This is a different one. This is Plague Doctor by Busby Designs on Etsy. And I'm stitching this one on 28 count casual linen. It's rhubarb and custard by Chromatic Alchemy. Um, but it has shrunk, so it's smaller than 28 count. And I'm stitching it, oops, one over one full crosses. It's only small. It's only a small one. So I'm going to keep this out to do some more on this year. I'm probably going to keep too many out, <laughs> but you got to start somewhere, so it's all good. Okay, next is Trade Winds by Teresa Wentzler. This beauty. I'm stitching it on... 32 count antique white linen and it's very scrunched. I think this one I've gridded with sulky sliver, that metallic stuff, and I can't really iron it. So I think I'm going to take the gridding out so I can actually iron it because it's always a bit, you know, scrunched up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to work on this more this year too. Still got six months to go. That's plenty of time. <laughs> Next is Hands Across the Sea, the old Scott. And I have worked on this one this year for photo in. I'm stitching it on 40 count ivory linen, um, soy d'alger silk that, um, how do you say it? <laughs> the cold for, I splurged and it's one over two. Um, And I have finished the outside border this year. And then I also started in on the alphabet at the top, which I just loved working on. So I'd like to keep this one out too. <laughs> I think I've already like have plenty out and there's plenty to go. It's okay. Okay. Right. This is another one I'm going to keep out. This is Plum Street Sampler's Snort Stack. And I've already finished the cow cow pile or the sheep pig? The cow pile. I'm doing it on 36 count natural linen. Oops. So finished the cow, started the pigs, 
and then I've got enough to do two more underneath. I definitely want to finish um, at least snort stack this year uh, just to kind of commemorate the end of my uni as well because uh, these are all <laughs> species that we covered comprehensively um, in, my, in my uni course. So that's going in the basket. <laughs> Next one is another um, Gecko Rouge kit. It's Only Forever, artwork by Medusa Dollmaker. And I'm doing something a little bit different with this one. It's on Jodie Redesign's Galaxy Ada. I haven't done too much. Okay. Oh, the visitor just come, so <laughs> watch out. Okay, next is my Chatelaine which I haven't touched this year, but I definitely want to. Um, Taj Mahal Garden Chatelaine. I'm doing it on 32 count black Belfast linen. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing this, although I'll be a bit sad when I realize how little I have actually done. Let's see. It's just beautiful. So yeah, that one's staying out too. This will be a whip go um, piece anyway that I want to get done. So um, yep, I need to put some hours into this one. Okay, there is a cat right here. Um, he's happy eating a tissue. So I'm just going to leave him. I hope it's not too noisy for you. Actually, that's gross. Can you please go away? Hello and goodbye. <laughs> All right. Next one. This is a sad one. Feelings haven't really changed. This is Mirabilia, the Queen Mermaid, which I loved when I got the pattern and was kidding it up and starting it. And I just have not really felt like working on it. So it's on 32 count Lugana. It's called When Mermaids Cry by Colour Cascade Fabrics. And that's all I've done. Then we have the Cat Sampler by Heartstring Samplery. I don't know why I haven't done more on this one. I really like it, but just one of those, you know, there's so many. <laughs> I'll get back to it. It's on 40 Count Legacy, uh, 40 Count Linen in Legacy by Picture This Plus. This is one I have worked on at the start of the year. So I'll, well, I'll show you what it is first. Mug shot of a cat felon arrested while attempting a New York bank heist. Um, it's a Gecko Rouge kit by Tanya Bond. So I'll pop a photo in of where I was at the start of the year. I'm doing 25 count one over one full crosses. I think I'm about a quarter of the way through. I'm going to keep this one out um, to get a bit more done on. This is probably, of all the full coverage pieces I have, this is now probably closest to a finish. Yeah. So keep working on him. Uh, next is Autumn Kitty. 
I'm not sure who the designer is. This was a gift from a lovely stitchy friend. I'm stitching it on 16 count Ada. It's a fabric flare cloud blue. And I haven't worked on it this year, um, but last time I was working on um, getting all the black done, which I think I'm not quite there. Oh, I love the next one and I haven't worked on it yet this year. <laughs> now there's a cat sitting on my pile of whips. So this is going really well. <laughs> this is Joan Elliott's The Time Traveller. I'm stitching it on 32 count uh, Belfast linen picture this plus it's uh, gothic and there she is looking great really pops on the dark fabric so this one will be staying out too Folk Embroideries 2020 um, stitch along. <laughs> the mental blank there, sorry, and there's yeah, a visitor again. Stitching this on 40 count antique white linen um, in silks for you PR023. Way behind, will catch up one day. Did not leave myself huge orders, uh, margin. That's where I am. So pretty. I'll put it in the basket because I, I want to work on it and we'll just see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, next one is a Lindy Stitches piece, except grandma's. I'm doing for my parents. Gee. <laughs> and I'm converting the house to make it look like theirs. I don't really know why I haven't progressed on this one. It's on 32 count cream Lugana. And <laughs> that's all I've done. Sorry, mum. <laughs> get to it one day <laughs> I am gonna put that in the basket because yeah um, oh gosh I'm getting to like a whole chunk that I want to work on this year so <laughs> I might have to rethink the basket idea this is the blue flower I'm oh, sorry this is night walked down by the blue flower I started this on leap day last year uh, and it was a stitch along with Deb Wilson and she's finished it a long time ago. I am nowhere near finished and I really, this was one of the ones I was thinking I would like to try and get towards a finish. I did just show this in my last video, just show it again. It's on 32 count even weave called Mulberries and Cream by Jay's X Stitch and that is where I am. So my basket is now full, if I can. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Uh, next one is Tiny Modernist um, Elephant Biscornu. So I, was, I joined the Biscornu of the Month Club last year and there were 12 animal themed Biscornus. This is a bit of a sad one too, really, because I love it, but I haven't done anything with it. It's on 32 count antique white linen 
uh, called for DMC stitching it two over two and I have done one elephant and I think I have to do four total so one day I'll get back to it they're great all of them are, are really nice really nice designs And then I'm into the last one of this box. This is another sad one. Ah. Okay, this is Courtney Collection Mermaid's Folly. Try not to take it out of the bag. I love this piece so much and I have not put enough time into it. I'm stitching it on 40 count uh, picture this plus uh, murky have a really big piece and I'm just using DMC uh, 3371 the really dark brown and okay she's staying out So, box two, just get reorganized here. Okay, so now we're on to starts since Anzac Day, so since April 2020. First one is Anzac by Long Dog Samplers, stitching it on, uh, 28 count even weave, coffee and tea dyed by me, using silks for you, PR124, stitching it two over two. Um, I have worked on this year, on it this year, and I have unpicked a lot this year. <laughs> so I've gone backwards. I don't know if you can see the, the frogged bit, yeah. <laughs> the memory. <laughs> I had to frog, um, Oh, I can't even remember. Was it 1100? Was it more than that? It was at least 1100 stitches. Oops. So this one, I think, is still in the naughty corner. Although it's ready to go now. There's no mistakes anymore. This is Atomic Garden by Carissa Rose. It's another Gecko Rouge kit. I started this... Um, yeah, June last year, the, the day that I found out a really good person had a really horrible diagnosis and he's, he's actually just passed away in the last month or so. Sometimes life is really unfair. Um, it's 25 count, one over one, full crosses. Haven't done too much. Ooh, this one. This is... Uh, Woodland Vines by Ink Circles. I haven't touched it this year. I'm stitching it on 20 Count Ada Red Passion by XG Designs. And I'm using 3756. Yeah, Ada, just one over one over one full crosses. And that is where I'm at. I think I'm Oh, I think I'm almost a quarter of the way through it. So this one's staying out. Next is Mini Contessa and Squid by um, Omar Ryan and it's Heaven and Earth Designs. I've just got a little printed um, picture. I'm just doing the mini. I'm doing it on 28 count, easy count, easy guide, <laughs> uh, one over one full crosses, and I have worked on this this year. That's where I'm up to now. So I've pretty much finished her face, not quite, but you know, 99%. And then I wanted to work up towards the top left corner, do some of the background. So I probably, she's not going to go in the basket, nope. 
Um, I spent, I think it was 21 hours on her earlier this year for Whipco. This is Twin Peaks by Country Magic Stitch. I'm stitching it on 28 count, easy count. Lugana, two over one tent stitch. When I got this pattern, it wasn't Pattern Keeper compatible. Um, now it is compatible, so it's gonna be much easier next time I get back to it. I haven't um, done much on this one. Just a really small start there. I'll watch the series again when I when I pull it out next. Then we have Quiet Please by Anna. I'm not really sure. It's freebie online. I'll pop the link in below. Quiet Please. It's on 32 count Belfast linen in chalkboard by XG Designs. And I'm stitching it with uh, Sulky. Sulky 12 weight 4010. <laughs> One day, oh there, woohoo. Um, yeah, it's barely worth showing. I don't even know which way up it goes. I guess it goes that way. <laughs> There's an eye, it looks like an eye. Next one's a sad one as well. I'm doing Kathy Barrick's Moths. Uh, like, kind of like that. So one on top of the other. Um, and I started this one. No, sorry. <laughs> I started this one, which is BR's moth and I just love the colors and I think the I mean the model was stitched in silks I think and I don't have those so I just went with the DMC conversion and um, I'm going to restart it because I like the colors in the model um, and I think the DMC suggestions are just a little bit too out there um, I gave it a bit of a shot just to see but that yellow is very very bright um, if I just hold up original it was more of like a cream I guess so at, well, at some point um, I will restart that but not sure when then I have a dimensions uh, gold petite kit that I bought um, off stash unload and it's the napping kitty It's on 18 count Ada. Still in a Q-snap. Interesting. And I was parking by the looks of it. Anyway, that is my start. This is a small full coverage piece that probably wouldn't take too long to do, but I've just got other ones I'd rather get done first. Then we have the cricket scene by the John Clayton collection. Uh, this is a restart after 25 years or so. And I'm stitching it on 20, uh, 32 count antique white linen, two over two. Uh, I've only got a little bit done. Um, I'm going to keep this out because I'd like to keep keep going with that one. Next is Sunny Beach by Anna Stitch on Etsy. It's on 16 count, easy count Ada with two strands and 
I started it right at the end of last year and I don't think I've done any more. Okay, so now we're into um, 20, oh, I don't know, this is, I guess I started this in 2020 as well, sorry. Um, this is Joyful World Sunflower Diaries, uh, the monthly pieces. I won't show you all of them, but I've done 10. I've got July and August to go, so just to, oh, had I, <laughs> I can't remember, had I finished this? I can't remember if I finished this last video or not. I don't think I had. So that's the latest one, June. I haven't started July yet. So I've just got July and August to go. And then I have the fun job of finishing them all. <laughs> oh, I guess that stays out because I'm working on that regularly. So now we're definitely into, um, oh, fluff. Itchy nose. <laughs> um, 2021 starts. This is Funky Menagerie by Lindy Stitches. So I'm stitching it on a 32 count even weave. I can't remember the name of the fabric. Um, it was a gift. And I am just about done with part two. And then there's about that much again underneath part three and part four. This one will stay out because I'd like to finish this one. This one hasn't come out for a little while. This is the Cross Stitch Studios mystery stitch along uh, for 2021. And we now know that it is going to be an owl. Uh, a new page has come out every month. I've only, I'm still on the second page. I'm doing it on 28 count, two over one, 10 stitch. Uh, and that is where I'm at. So I would like to do some more on that this year too. It's not high priority, but I think I'll keep it out um, in the group. And that pile is getting very high. <laughs> then I have Temperature Typography by Sarah Stitching Mummy. You get the pattern on Etsy. I'm doing it 25 count Pewter Lugana by Swigart and I am pretty much up to date. It's uh, one over one full crosses. And yeah, June got cold. So purple is the cooler, coolest colours. Haven't hit the lowest um, yet, but we'll see. So that stays out because I work on it regularly. Next is Lenart, King of Animals. Started this on the 8th of February this year. Isn't he beautiful? I'm doing it on 25 count, one over one full crosses. That's my start. And I love this one. I'm not sure if I'll get back to it because I really want to sort of complete some of those older whips. So I'm not going to pop that in the basket, but I love it. And then I think we're up to my birthday start. So I had a whole heap of starts. Yep. Uh, for my 40th birthday earlier this year in February, I haven't actually finished all the pieces I wanted to start. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> gone out of control anyway it's fine it's fine as long as you enjoy it right so the first birthday start was um they called it indian model it is ashwarya rai or whatever her married name is bachan um beautiful indian woman 
and I switched out the fabric on this one for 32 count even weave. It's just um, a special that um, was available at a retreat from Jay's X Stitch, but it's sort of slightly purple. I had a really busy day on my birthday, and this was the one I started on my actual birthday, so it's really like. Can you even call that a start? <laughs> Maybe I'll keep this one out um, because that is a pathetic start. <laughs> Then we have another Gecko Rouge kit, Invictus by Medusa Dollmaker. Doing it on 25 count, one over one uh, full crosses, and you're going to be able to barely see my start on this one. <laughs> There's some white in there too, so anyway. Uh, again, I've got other full coverage pieces that are further along that I want to devote time to, so um, it's not a priority this year. Um, next is Huga Stories by New Leaf Craft. Um, on Etsy. This is one that I potentially could make a monthly stitch if I, if I want to keep having a monthly piece. There's 12 of them. I started with June um, because the seasons are switched because it's, you know, whoever designed it is in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's a summery scene. Um, but I started it in February because it was summer then. This is on 28 count Brittany Lugana by Chromatic Alchemy in Aether. Let's see if I can show you. It's kind of um, blue and almost peach, peach color. Yeah, you can sort of see it. Very subtle. And I have completed the June piece. So they're very small. I think they're all 45 by 45 stitches. They're very detailed. Um, I think I'll keep it out because it might take over monthly stitching if I if I want to keep doing something like that. Then we have another full coverage piece. So this is Sarah and Jareth by Tilton Crafts. I'm stitching it on oh, artwork by Daniel Cordek. It's on 25 count, one over one full crosses. And it's just a small start, and this one will go away again because, as I said, I've got other ones I want to. So, come on. Yeah, can't quite get it. <laughs> anyway, it's a puny, like, little start. <laughs> um, others that I want to progress uh, first. Then we have Beauty Spot by Long Dog Samplers. This is on 25 count even weave. I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's Lugana. It feels a little bit more, like a little bit softer than Lugana. It's from Sew It All Australia. Um, but 25 count, I'm doing it one over one full crosses and I've just started the first motif. And what I was thinking was maybe I do try and get a motif done here or there. So. <laughs> I'll put it over in this on this side as a maybe. <laughs> and we have another full coverage piece. Um, a Wise Old Owl by Chris Dunn. Um, of, and it's charted by Painting Free Crafts, inspired by Lauren of Floss Abilities. This is 25 count one over one uh, full crosses. A little start. And I love this piece so much. Um, but again, there's so many more that I'd, I'd rather just um, get done before I really focus on this one. So I'll pop this one away for now. Then we have Mojo Stitches Bushland Quaker. Stitching it on 40 count linen in week T by Jay's X Stitch. And I'll try and get it around the right way this time. Oh, I showed this last video. There's my start using the, the 
cottage garden threads and DMC combination. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm keeping this one out. So I'm enjoying working on this. Then we have the Cheshire Cat from Mandarinx Designs. I'm stitching it on a 32 count even weave from Sew It All. Uh, it's called Rainbow Ocean. And I haven't made much of a start. This is all of these were birthday starts, so they've pretty much just got one day. Uh, there's my start. Again, really fun piece, uh, but it's not going to go in the pile for now. Then we have Primitive Hair, Mother of the Ocean. Stitching it on 32 count Jobelin in Gold Digger Old World, well, Old Map style. Colour Cascade Fabrics. And my start. This is only a small-ish piece that I could get done but I, I think I need to work on others before <laughs> I do too much on this one. So for now that's going away. Okay. Next one is not really a start. Uh, it's going to be a restart. This is Witcher by Needle Minder Lair. I started it on 18 count Ada. That's my start. But I'm going to restart it on 16 count. I've decided. So not sure when that will happen, but um, I do want that to happen. Mm. I wanted that to happen this year. I'll put it in the pile for this year, but you know, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay, next is Pretty Little India by Satsuma Street. This was a birthday present from my mum. Stitching it on the cold for 18 count fiddler's cloth. Um, it's just a really <laughs> pitiful start again. Uh, again, I think I'm going to pop this one away for now. Okay, we're almost there. is Gecko Rouge, um, Little, what's it called? Little Stars. So it's kind of a mystery stitch long. There's been, I think the first four have been released. So there's two more coming. I started stitching it like this with the border and everything. Um, but I've decided just to stitch them individually. It's 25 count, one over one full crosses. And I have pretty much finished um, Little Wee Bowie. I just have to finish the back stitching, which is hard work, but it looks amazing. So I've got to do his face and his hair, and then he's done. And I'd like to make an ornament. So I'd like to stitch them separately. Um, yeah, as little ornaments that I can keep together. Uh, no real rush, although I would like to finish the back stitching on Bowie, but I think I'll pop him away for now. And then my very last whip was kind of an impulsive start. Um, oh my gosh. So it's called the Dogs of Disney Summer Stitch Along, and you can find the, it's a, it's a free stitch along. The patterns are available on the, um, Facebook group Dogs of Disney Stitch Along. And I'm just having a blank on the designer. I'll pop her name in um, and it'll be below. 
I have just made a very small start on stitch. Um, I just think they're so cute. Um, she's done such a great job. Uh, and so this is on 32 count um, Silver Springs by Colour Cascade Fabrics. I'm doing the Alice in Wonderland series, the Brooks Books one, also on Silver Springs, um, but on Lugana rather than linen, and it's the opalescent one. This is just plain um, 32 count linen. Uh, so that was just a cheeky little start. <laughs> Okay, um, right, so that's all my whips. I just want to quickly show some starts that I had lined up for my birthday that I didn't quite get to, um, that I still want to start this year. <laughs> so we have the Our Forest Embroidery Bayon, Bayon Cat. I've had this kit for ages. Um, I have another friend's 40th birthday coming up, so it might be a new start maybe. Uh, let me just grab a little pile. Uh, probably this one. Oops. The Scarlet House, A Perfect World. I've got linen in here from number 12 Stitch Co. 40 count linen, salted caramel. I just need to remeasure this because it, it feels like it's a little bit small. So I'll just need to remeasure that. If it's okay, then I'll start it. If it's not, then I'll wait and get something else. Ellen Maurer Stroh's Flowers of the Month that Jessie Marie Does Stuff has finished and Amy Loves Toads and Jemima and I'm sure lots of other people are working on. Uh, so I'm going to be doing it on 32 count, it's fabric flare and it's silver ash. Then I have Carolyn Manning's sea glass on 25 count. Um, I think it's just white Lugana maybe. Um, I'll do it one over one. Um, it's only small, like it's my little piece. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a start. Okay, and lucky last, I have two small Gecko Rouge kits that are calling to me that I've had. One I've had for ages, one is more recent. So I have Little Frank by Anita in Variety that I've had for ages, and I'd really like to. <laughs> to stitch him. How cute is he? He's on um, 14 count black Ada. Uh, there's the colours. And it's a full coverage piece so the background is stitched but I'm not going to stitch it because I'm doing it on the black. Um, I've got a, a cat again. Be good, Reggie. You be a good boy. <laughs> uh, this is the other one. This is Raven by Lorna Lane, Gecko Rouge Kit. And it's also 25 count, one over one, full crosses. It's smallish too. And it's beautiful colours. Oh my god. No. Oh, we did so well. <laughs> uh, well, Reggie did well. He just couldn't quite help himself there at the, <laughs> the end. So I've had to pack a few things away. <laughs> but I'm pretty much done. What I'm going to do is go through the massive pile <laughs> that I've kept aside and just try and work out um, what I want to do. What I'm thinking is maybe spending like a dedicated week on... Um, on a lot of them for the rest of the year. I'm still working on I'll keep Firefly out and my monthly stitching as well But I'll select other stitching from this this pile. So I hope you have enjoyed that. That was fun to go through them all and um, I look forward to seeing some more with parades. I hope and we'll see you all again soon
Bye-bye.